What can we expect from Pokemon in 2024? Is there going to be a new game? What else are they releasing? Well, I have some things that have been confirmed, some things that are like a maybe, things that have just been kind of thrown out in the air. So it looks like we're definitely getting a new game this year. There definitely will be something announced on Pokemon Day 2024, which apparently is February 27th. So it's like a month and a half-ish away. It's not too far away. So with Pokemon Day, that's when they announce a lot of cool new things coming to the pokemon franchise and so i'm pretty sure it was leaked that we're getting an announcement of a new game so it looks like we're definitely getting some type of new game that i'd say will be released in 2024 probably we'll get a game next year my theory is we're gonna get a game this year a game next year in 2025 and then 2026 we're gonna get generation 10 because in 2023 the recent year that just happened, literally, you know, everyone knows 2023, but we did not get a new Pokemon game, and every now and then, every few years, they skip a Pokemon game just to kind of figure everything out and everything, but we did get the DLC, so at least we got something Pokemon related in 2023, but there were no new games, meaning we're definitely going to get a game in 2024. I don't think they've ever skipped two years. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think they've ever skipped two years. If they if they have, it's been a very, very long time. So people believe they're going to either announce something Johto related or Unova related. I am down for either. I really think that either would be great. It's definitely confirmed like that they're, they're making games right now. Game Freak, whatever. They're making games. Games take years to develop, and it's also been leaked that Generation 10, the starters, and I'm pretty sure most of the Pokemon have already been completed, like the designs of those Pokemon, but obviously Generation 10 is going to come around for a few more years. This video is specifically more about 2024, what what's going to happen with the Pokemon franchise this year. So the thing that's coming out the soonest, like the soonest new Pokemon release, I'm pretty sure is another Scarlet and Violet like epilogue. So that's going to release January 11th, so literally in just a few days, but that's basically an extra hour or so of gameplay based around the new mythical Picharoon or Picharin. I'm not really exactly sure how to say it, but that's the purple peach Pokemon. Like the entire epilogue has literally been leaked. I made a video about it a few weeks ago, but it got removed, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's coming out in just a few days. I thought that was going to come out in February, but I don't know if they expedited the release or if they always plan on releasing it early January, but that's really, really awesome. So we're getting some more Scarlet and Violet content, and I believe this might be the last scarlet and violet content that we're getting i'm pretty sure this is like the last event they might do minor things here and there but i'm pretty sure this is the last major thing going on within scarlet and violet which is kind of bittersweet you know at least we had a lot of things that came into the game after its initial release but kind of sucks that we're not getting anything else in the future but like i said you never know they could always change that and release something else so obviously there's other big tournaments and stuff happening, which I don't really talk too much about tournaments or like the, the the trading card game or anything on this channel. I just talk more about like the games and what they are releasing. I hope we get some more spin-off games this year. I'm really, really hoping for like a, a ranger game or a mystery dungeon game. Hopefully we're getting something like that. I know that the leak of I know that the leak saying that we're getting a new Pokemon game this year said it's a new mainline game. So I don't think that would be a ranger or mystery dungeon game as those are not mainline games those are kind of spin-off side games even though they're really awesome games hopefully we're gonna get one of those this year so with the johto or unova games possibly being announced i don't know if they do both announced at one time like maybe they'd announce some type of legends game and then a remake we know that generation 5 is up next for remakes so i think it's possible to get a remake for that in 2025 i i really believe that game's gonna come out in 2025 just because i feel like if it were to be released in 2024, it'd be so recent from the Gen 4 remakes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there isn't a huge gap of time in between that. And we just got the Generation 9, which I don't think they'd release another remake right after Generation 9. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I I truly think we're going to get a Johto game, some type of Legends Johto game, or maybe like a Paradox Johto game where it's like based in the future. I feel like it's going to be something that's related to Scarlet and Violet. Like, I feel like whatever game they announce and release in 2024, I feel like it's going to have some sort of connection with Scarlet and Violet, which if it is a Unova game, that's an easy connection right there. Don't know exactly how they connect Johto to Scarlet and Violet, but, you know, it's definitely possible. I think it'd be really cool for a Legends game based on Gen 5 or the Johto region. The Unova region would be awesome. Johto region... Honestly, I don't really have anything specific that I'd want to see released this year. I'm kind of just taking everything with a grain of salt, I guess. I'm down for anything. I I really don't have any preferences. 
I mean, I definitely want to see a Gen 5 remake, but we're definitely going to get one one day within the near future, so I'm not really worried about that. With the Gen 5 remake, I don't know if they do a faithful remake or not. I think a lot of people say that they're going to do a faithful remake. I, I don't know. Whatever they do, I hope it's, I hope they just do it well. You know what I'm saying? I just hope they transition the Gen 5 DS graphics well to the Switch, or if it's released on the next console, I hope they, you know, transition it well to the next console. And I also don't know if they would do Black and White 2 remakes within the Gen 5 remakes, or if Pokemon Black and White 2 remakes are separate from Black and White 1 remakes. That's kind of an interesting topic because we've never been able to have a a remake for a game that's had a second or a sequel in the series, which there aren't many, right? I'm pretty sure it's just Generation 5, and then we got Sun and Moon, and then and then we had Sun and Moon, and then Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, right? So, I guess we'll see what they'll do. I kind of would like to see it all be one giant story, but then that would be a lot of gameplay for them, and I wouldn't want them to, like, shorten anything. So, I'd be down for a Pokemon Black and White 1 remake, and then a Pokemon Black and White 2 remake, be a separate remake eventually down the line. It'd be also kind of cool to get a direct Legends Arceus sequel. I think Legends Arceus was great. So maybe like a Legends Arceus 2, or I guess they could just call it Legends Celebi, whatever, and just have some sort of connection. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know how they would exactly do that either, but hey, you know, I'd like a Legends series. Like a, like a whole on Legends series that's, that they're all connected to each other, you know what I mean? And Legends Arceus was a mainline game, so that's why a Legends game is in the talks, you know? I definitely think they're going to release one, because people loved the Legends Arceus game, or they do love the Legends Arceus game. It was a great game. Like, the fans received it really well. I know some people didn't, but you can't please everyone. Not everyone's going to be happy with everything, you know? So going back to the epilogue of Scarlet and Violet, that's coming out in just a few days, and it's just about an hour's worth of content and gameplay. You have different battles within it, and then you could also have the ability to catch the mythical Picharunt, Picharunt. I need to figure out how to say that. I don't. I just can't figure it out. But yeah, essentially it's going to wrap up the entire storyline of Scarlet and Violet. And if you haven't played the DLC and you want more Scarlet and Violet, I recommend buying the DLC. It's only like 35 bucks, which is kind of expensive, but you know, 35 bucks isn't terrible, and you get part one and two of the DLC, and then you also get the... Actually, I don't know if you need the DLC for the epilogue. I I'm gonna assume you do need to own the DLC to play the epilogue of Scarlet and Violet, but within the DLC, there's a ton of extra content. I'd say the DLC Part 2 of the Teal Mask has way more content than Part 1 of the DLC. There's just so much to do with, like, between the legendaries, the synchro machine, the actual storyline, you have to catch new Pokemon to defeat one battle. There's a lot to do. I've added many hours to my save file, which is really fun. I had a lot of fun with the DLC, so definitely recommend that. I mean, I'm sure we're still going to get, like, random special events for Terror Raid stuff within Scarlet and Violet still in the future. I don't believe they're going to completely stop updating Scarlet and Violet. I, I mean, they're still definitely going to do patches here and there, minor things, nothing crazy, but... And in 2024, they're also going to do support, you know, for obviously Pokemon Go, Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Masters U or EX, I almost said US, I don't know where I, where I got that from. And apparently we're getting Gyarados or Magikarp, no, Magikarp and Gyarados within Pokemon Unite soon. Um, so that's pretty cool, they're still updating that. Pokemon Unite actually has a pretty big fan base. I used to play it, but I haven't played it in a while. Masters EX has a pretty big fan base. Obviously Pokemon Go does. I still play Pokemon Go. Great game. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see in 2024 with the Pokemon franchise. I could say that we're definitely getting a game this year. And we're getting a game announced in February, which means we're probably going to get the game released in September, October, November. That's usually when they're released. I'd say probably more so like November, October-ish over September. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.